so scared. Oh God! All right, so today is the first day of me playing Amnesia. Uh, it's a series I'm going to be playing during Spooktober this year. I'm hopefully gonna be doing the entire game. Uh, if I have time, I'm going to attempt to do the second, but if not, there's always next year, or if people just want to see me do the second before then, that's something I'd consider. I love horror games, I love horror in general. Let's get to it. Ooh. Uh, the way the game was designed to be played, enemies will spot you more. Um, uh, uh, I'm gonna play on bitch mode. I am not ready to uh, just throw myself at hard mode. Not yet. Don't forget, some things mustn't be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. I must hurry. Oh, Here's I am. Daniel. I live in London. In the game London. already. And, uh, Mayfair. What have I done? This is okay. Crazy. Don't forget. Wow, this is. Don't forget. I must. This is a dark focus. game. Oh, hello, suit of armor. I am Daniel. Oh, I am bleeding. My name is Daniel, and I am bleeding. Well, everything's black. Uh, what to do? I love the vibe so far. I'm a fan of anything like dark, gothic, castle-y, just all oh, so good. Okay, uh, a memento has been added to the journal. Press J for quick access to your mementos. Press M to check when, oh God, words. Press M, make sure to check these whenever you get stuck. Follow the liquid trail and find its source. Okay, so I have diaries as well, and notes. Okay. Oh, oh that's for- Oh! <gasps> There's physics! Oh! Oh, <laughs> there's breakable objects! Okay. Well, it says I'm supposed to follow the liquid, but we're not gonna do that. I'm, uh... I'm going go in here. And apparently there's nothing. So, go to the other room. There is a run feature. Shift. Waz to move like usual. Ooh, what's in here? I'm gonna try not to get sidetracked too easily. Can I pick this up? Okay. Um... Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna try not to get distracted. I have bad ADHD when it comes to stuff like this, and my brain just wants to explore everything. So, I am going to attempt to stay on track. I cannot make any promises, though! Oh, ooh! Ooh, okay. Q and E makes me lean. Okay, surely they wouldn't throw a monster at me yet. Right. Right. Can I open doors? Ooh, I can. Uh, hold down left mouse, and then move the mouse and remove the door. Right. Yeah, I got that. Tinder box. What is in here? Ooh, tinderbox. Yeet. Not even sorry. Do I have to play the game? Can I just kind of sit in this chair? Oh, I can pick up the chairs too. I wonder if I can like barricade doors. Like if the monster's after me, can I just throw a bunch of stuff in front of a door and hide? Ooh, tinderbox. 
I'm assuming these are what I use to like light candles and stuff. Ooh, I can not turn my camera while opening a door. That's gonna get me, I know for sure. That's gonna get me real bad when I'm trying to get away. That was running, that's nope, ugh. Okay, gotta do this. This game has such a spooky atmosphere already. What's happening? What is happening? Am I dying? What is happening? Okay, I wasn't sure if I did anything wrong there. That was a slight panic. Nah, no, I'm big brave boy. They're not gonna throw a monster at me yet. I know that for a fact, just in case though. Safety chair. <gasps> you can push the doors. Okay, that's useful. Oh, nothing in there. So it's wanting me to go down there. I'm gonna check out this room super quick. Is there any tinder boxes? There is! I've been rewarded. Thank you, amnesia gods. Okay, suppose I'll remove this chair. See what's in here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Safety chair. We're just not gonna go that way. That's a safety chair, guard. Make sure nothing comes out of there. Okay, what is what is this goop? I thought it was blood at first, but it is apparently not. He fell to the kitchen floor. Tears were beginning to well in his eyes as he received the first kick in his stomach. Hazel remains hidden in fear she too would be punished. Is that what happened to me? Did I just get beat up? Uh, witnessing unsettling events will reduce your sanity. It can be increased by completing puzzles and making progress. Okay, so I cannot linger for too long. That is unfortunate to know. Uh, standing in darkness, your sanity will slowly drain. Turn on lights in the environment using tinder boxes. Search for light sources. What is this? Oh, it's just a book. Is this considered light? Where I'm at right now? Oh! Tinderbox! Tinderbox! Is there a torch? Uh, lamp? Anything? Okay, can I check my sanity? I'm paranoid about this now. Uh, you can quickly check most recent red pages. Okay. That is shockingly useful. Man, I do not like the sounds in this game. Why is it making my camera look? Oh, that's why. Lantern. Okay, uh, you've picked up a lantern. When filled with oil, it can be turned on by pressing F. Flashlight. Okay. Do I have oil? <gasps> I do. Is there anything in here? No? I mean, and surely my oil can run out, right? Like, if I have to fill it for it to work, where would I grab more? 
Man, I do not like all these noises. Is this a safe room? Ah! Uh, I wouldn't necessarily say safe. It's definitely not safe feeling. I want to run into this door while it's closed just to see if it opens. Nope, it does not. I was hoping maybe if I was being chased, I could just run into the door to fling it open. Okay, I'm not wasting this torch. But yeah, that's uh, unfortunate. I mean, I guess it makes sense that I can't just fling it open, but... Can I open that? Thank you. What is this? Oh, carpet. It looked like a log, and I was really confused. Oh, I hate that it just flings my camera in directions. Ooh, I wish I could speech. ask how much you remember. I don't know if there'll be anything left after I consume this drink. Don't be afraid, Daniel. I can't tell you why, but know this. I choose to forget. Try to find comfort and strength. That's in that where fact. the name Amnesia there comes from. Purpose. You are my final effort to put things right. God willing, the name Alexander of Brandenburg still invokes bitter anger in you. If not, this will sound horrible. Go to the inner sanctum, find Alexander, and kill him. His body is old and weak, and yours, young and strong. I will be muscle. no match for you. One last thing. I feel like that's not going to be the true. The shadow is following you. It's a living nightmare, breaking down reality. That's comforting. I have tried everything. That's exactly no what I want to hear. Fight back. You need to escape it as long as you can. Redeem us both, Daniel. Descend into the darkness where Alexander waits and murder him. Your former self, Daniel. But, like, hear me out. What if we didn't descend into darkness and instead we just left? I like that plan much more. Oh, that is blood. <gasps> Box. No. Must fulfill. Ah, oh, yes. Can you jump on these? You can. So I wonder if the monster has physics as well. Like, hear me out. Obviously, I'm not gonna stack things in the middle of uh, running away. But if I were to run to a place I've already been, could I just jump on those boxes? Wait, there wasn't anything else in here, right? I say as I see a giant lever. Ugh. This is truly like a haunting game. A fragrant taste of rose lingered in his mouth. Turkish delights, he thought, just like the ones at the consulate? Didn't finish reading that. I'm a little bit slow. Ah! Why is it telling me how to run? If I need to know how to run, that means there's something I'm gonna need to run from. <laughs> Didn't like that noise. Uh oh. Okay. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking, come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the. What did you call it? The inner sanctum. Yeah, what did I call it? My most precious chamber, Daniel. And it lies well beyond the refinery. This voice In actor fact, sounds really it familiar. It lies beneath the very stone. Alexander, of I think the guy's name is in this. He just sounds really familiar. Okay, am I supposed to be following this trail still?
probably. But like, what are these? Oh, cockroaches? Is that what that hissing sound is? Yeah, that is definitely what that hissing sound is. Mm. Oh, how did I miss that? Oh, <laughs> just that rich goopy noise. Delicious. By the way, I'm thinking these episodes will probably be 45 minutes to an hour each. I think I read online that this game, oh, cobweb? That this game does have a pretty big runtime if you don't know what you're doing. And I definitely do not know what I'm doing. Okay, that's leading me all over. I'm just gonna follow this blood for now. This goop. Oh, oh, okay, there's... I thought that was leading downstairs. Okay, yeah, I'll go left. But yeah, uh... I'm gonna try and keep it to, like, 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, like, sessions here. But that might change depending on the progress I make. I can kind of move that. Okay, so I need a key there. So to the laboratory. The other children cheered him on, his name voiced in steadily rising pace, urging him to do it. Am I really doing this? The young boy thought and stuck his victim with a rock. Okay. Ooh. I was screaming. Do I light that? Or should I... What are these noises, man? I'm just gonna chill out by this light for a little bit. What the f***? I always miss it. Okay, oil... Okay, so... Tab... Do I just drag it? Yes, I do. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay, I can see my sanity. Uh, head is pounding and hands are shaking. My health is all good. About half oil. So this is a fire. I'm hoping... Like, this will surely increase my sanity, right? I'm just on an AFK here for a sec to see if this increases at all. If it doesn't here with... Eh? Within probably a minute or two, I'll just keep on going. Okay, my sanity has not changed at all. So, I'm a uh, march forward. Gotta grab my chair. Oh, there's bugs all over my screen. Yeah, that probably means my sanity's not doing too good. This might be dumb, but let me light that. What is that, a grate? Ooh. I do not like that splashing. Okay. Memories? Uh, there should be more coop right? Yes, indeed. Let me see, let me see. And one part. Chemistry of part? Is there crafting in this? This is my third attempt to produce artificial vitae? Vitae. Vitae? I'm gonna go with vitae. Uh, the former compounds lacked the potency I need, but I sent some close, uh, calamine and orpiment are given, and the cuprite binds them well. This time I will attempt aqua regia? Can't speak Latin. Instead of aqua fortis, and hopes it will produce a more even solution. The experiment was unsuccessful. The solution is highly acid, acid, highly acidic, and proves impractical to put any 
use except as a detergent. Organic tissue reacts especially violently to the solution and should be handled with the greatest care. I might be able to use the recipe, but I'm losing hope that I will find an alchemic solution to my predicament. Sorry for like stuttering a little bit. My cats are doing weird stuff. Silently trying to shoo them away, but that's not working. Okay, was it just that stuff in here? Ooh, nope. The lack of a chimney to properly vent the fumes from my most recent experiment has taken its toll on many of my less stable ingredients in storage. Some seen unaffected, but many are stained by the fumes and will be difficult to salvage. I shall do what I can to move them to the wine cellar. Okay. Oh yeah, what's this alchemical pot? A uh, pot to contain mixtures of all sorts. Okay, that's descriptive. You're coming with me, chair. Wait, 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 this is the wine cellar, right? Ooh, can I open this? I was hoping that'd break. Ooh, I will take tinderbox. So I'm assuming- Oh! Okay, I can open some of these. Uh... Okay, not these ones, just those. Got it. Get out of my way. Yeah, I keep hitting Q, though, to... Oh. Is that considered an unsettling event? Oh, is this something? Nope, just a rock. I keep hitting Q to bring up my, uh, lantern. Go to the entrance hall. The door slammed shut behind him, and he knew he would never again see the old tailor at Berkeley Square. Another lone soul in London seemed appropriate somehow. Oh no, I was in the laboratorium. Dude, can my camera stop doing that though? That is very distracting in like every way. It'll just yoink over to the point of view I'm supposed to be like looking at or seeing. Kind of awful. Right, yeah, 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 wine cellar cannot be opened without a key. Got it. I don't think I missed the key down there. Let me check up here. Is that a note? Nope, that is a weird. There is this, the tabularium. Oh, there's all kinds of offshoots in this building. Uh, is this locked? It is not. Archives, okay. Traveling to Dover meant going through Cat Catter Canterbury. He made sure to pay a visit to avoid the sense of guilt connected with neglect of something. Ooh. I don't like the fact that this door is busted down. The footsteps I hear? No. Maybe? Oh. For some reason, I thought that was telling me how to hide. I'm like, okay, nope, those were indeed footsteps. 16th of May, 1839. The unflinching African sun has continued to plague our expedition, making it impossible to dig until dusk. How Professor Herbert managed to find the location in these vast plains of nothingness remains a mystery to me. When I asked him about the tomb again, he told me about the legend of Tin Hanan, the mother of us all. An interesting story in its own right, but I can't help feeling there's more. Later oh, wait, evening, there's more! We uncovered a passage beneath the dunes leading to a sand covered stone structure. The professor was confident it was the tomb we sought, 
and ordered the others to clear the way late into the dark, cold night. Tomorrow, I shall lead the men into the ancient structure, hoping to reach the burial chamber. No matter what the professor is keeping from me, the dig should yield something interesting to take back to London and the British Museum. Of course. Everything to the British Museum. I know that was footsteps. Ooh. Yeah, I'm gonna close this door, I think. While I look around. Ooh, I lagged. Lag means monster or danger. That's something loading in. Dude, with these footsteps. That's not okay. Ooh, no. Okay, no reading. I never know if they're actually gonna start reading or if that's something I have to do. Uh, so I hereby offer my full attention and services to Alexander Baron of Brennenburg. This contract will reign for a total of three years when my freedom shall return to me. In addition, Alexander Baron of Brennenburg is to recommend my services at the Prussian Royal Court and within the sanctum of the Order of the Black Eagle. May no man break his seal. Wilhelm House of Garrick? Garrich? Not sure. I don't like all these doors that lead to the same place. I feel like that means I need to start looping things. Study. What was that noise? 17th of May, 1839. My hands tremble as I write. I feel a need to document my tribulation, for I fear that my memory will fail me if I linger. Today, I took some men and ventured into the dark, ancient passage we uncovered. Our torches burned faintly in the murky air as we slowly made our way underground. The men were superstitious and fearful. They argued loudly, and I felt their strange language getting to me. I mustered my strength and yelled at them to continue down the slopes and broken steps. The crudely carved passage confused me. It looked much older than the fourth century structure we had expected. The twisting path emerged into a great antechamber. The walls were lined with statues unlike any I'd ever seen. Despite their unearthly quality, I felt a strange familiarity toward them, oh. which haunts me still. At the far end of the chamber, a great slab of stone sealed off whatever lay ahead. I gave the order to raise it, and as I pushed through the narrow space, the heavy stone suddenly dropped, sealing me inside. I was trapped. A trapped? Okay, I will never get used to these footsteps. How much oil do I have? Oh, I am burning it. Okay, lots of tinder boxes. I need to start utilizing those more. I feel like I'm using an insane amount of oil. Uh oh, got excited. They're just shirts. Okay, what is in here? Should I go back to the other room or is this where that door 
leads to. Well, bring on my lantern back out. Oh my god, there's just so much stuff. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's the study. This is the old tomes. Uh oh. Okay, I'm gonna light these. Open that. Oh, oil. Music? Okay, uh... Oh, oil. Wow, I almost didn't see that there. I am blind. Is this not... Oh, it opens inwards. Okay. What's my sanity at? Head is pounding, hands are shaking. Okay, so nothing's... changed, necessarily. That felt like a change. You know, just, just for funsies, I will light that. Well, that was a waste. Okay, let's go to the local history. Okay, locked. Fair enough. Dude, I am freaking out. That is the nope hallway, apparently. Oh, I'm gonna need this chair. That was absolutely a monster. Oh! Oh, I did not like that. Chair's a double-edged blade. I feel safer, but I can also not see a damn thing. Okay, you have to go down. Uh, anything over here? Yes, oil. Awesome. Love it. Can I pick up this? Oh, I can. Okay, noted. What does this say? Floor plans. There's a crack in the wall. What is that? What is that? Can I head on this table? Nope. Oh, I do not like any of this. Well, stroking out. 17th of May. After pounding the unforgiving stone wall for what seemed like an eternity, I realized it was hopeless. I was trapped. I fell to the ground, gasping for air, trying to focus. That's when I saw a faint blue shimmer. I My too see the body shimmer. Was heavy to carry, but I managed to push myself toward the enchanting light. Okay, this is actually me doing it. I was a little bit confused there. It was waiting for me. Enclosed in dark nothingness, I felt myself drawn to the mystic light. Like a moth to I the flame. Out, closing it in my hands. The faint glow escaped my fingers and began to spark brightly and spirit me away. Unlocking alien memories of spiraling towers, endless deserts, and impossible geometry. Oh. The next thing I can remember is the grating sound of stone being lifted. The voices of the Arabs pulling me to safety. And grasped firmly in my hands was the broken pieces of a most 
peculiar relic. Interesting. I'm really liking the lore of this so far. It is very, very cool. Okay, I am back from like a minute break. I had to change some settings here. Oh, I did not check this. Oh, just an old tome. More old tomes. More, more old tomes. So off to floor plans. It's actually pretty bright in this room. Not complaining. Oh, did I open the other chest I saw earlier? I don't actually remember. Oh, okay. Stroke! Much of the castle is old and hasn't been attended to for centuries. When the shadow arrives, it won't take long until things start falling apart. We're just buying time anyway. Let's do what we can. There isn't much to be done about the wars. We should reinforce weak structures. The ground will tremble and there's a risk everything will cave in on us. Especially downstairs. Here, here, and there. Let's get the servants working on it. Okay, lovely. Love that. Oh, shit. Well, that's what fell. Uh... Mementos. Uh, the door leading to the local history room is locked. Is there another entrance? Chemical ingredients have been moved from the laboratory to the wine cellar. Evidence in the laboratory has revealed the, that combining four chemicals can create a powerful acid. Find the key. Okay. I mean, there is something here? Fragile, but not breakable by my hand. Ah! Oh, I know the solution! Charge! No? Oh. Oh, that's... That's not supposed to happen. Uh, panic? Did I really break the game? Uh. Ah, okay, there we go. All is not lost. You have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be oh. too careful, then. Well, back to mementos. Uh... Oh wait, was that a diary? Note. Right. No. No, what was that? Oh, okay, okay, okay. That was the very first one here. So, in the local history room, there's going to be some puzzle I have to do. Um, assuming it has to do something with this... There we go. Okay, it's not reading. Alright. Naturally, I have to read all the weird, confusing ones. Uh, Altstand and Brennenberg. That sounds German, almost. Castle, 1801. Another region rich with lore is Alstad, uh, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the helmet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg, the quiet forest-clad mountains. 
dressed with scattered lakes is as pis yeah is as picturesque as can be albeit this area is haunted by the dark yeah yeah figure on that out uh, ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will be certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists and tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The Gatherers. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the 30th year war uh, of the 30 years war. Uh, it's said that soldiers who abandoned their duty got most of the cold, dark woods, and they were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies, wrought by their tainted souls, have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have cited them over the years and described them as horrid reverence. Reverence, yeah. They move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called gatherers, as they seem to follow some ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey, which can be heard struggling inside damp burlap sacks, dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. Which dark scheme do they follow? That sounds horrifying. Like, that sounds genuinely horrifying. A visit undone. Uh, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa? The well-known <laughs> Erudite visited Alstad at the start of the 16th century. He resided in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdom past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of the time. One day, he went to investigate a burrow on the northwestern glades, only to never be seen again. Heinrich is known to have passed away in Grenoble some ten years later. He dismissed the notion of ever writing or of ever visiting Alstad, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man who visited the sleepy hamlet in the woods, and what happened to him? Last page. Wow, this is a lot of reading that I wasn't expecting at all. All right, the immortal Baron. The Baron of Brennenburg lives a recluse life with his family at his castle nearby Alstad, and like most like most those of noble birth, rumors are inherited alongside with the title. Researching the history reveals the little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands claiming the role as protector of the Prussian state. Alexander helped the region to flourish and remained popular throughout his presumed lifetime. The family has always been secretive when it comes to lineage and heritage. Therefore, the birth and death of Alexander and his offspring has never been fully recorded. Alexander's dead? I don't... I feel like that doesn't quite make sense. Because I, Daniel, was alive talking to him before I got amnesia. I don't know, I could be misunderstanding this. It's a lot of reading. I just got off my shift. Not doing great. <laughs> this has fed the idea that the Baron is in fact the one and the same who came from the West over 300 years ago. Lived through the time of occupation and joined the covet order of the Black Eagle along with the great leaders of this country. Okay, interesting. I will light that, because I feel like I'm going to be in here for a little bit. This puzzle has to do with books, right? That is locked. Okay, I feel like... No, that was not it. Okay, go through the books. Oh. Nope. I got trolled. Oh. It's not that easy, is it? No. Okay, okay. I see these books. So there's three. 
How long does it take to recycle? Okay, there we go. So what I'm gonna do is pull that one, pull that one, that one. Door? No, there's more? Crap. Uh. What? I only see three. There. 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 Uh. Am I being incredibly stupid right now? There's only three, right? Three books, three tables. Kinda makes sense to me. How much oil do I have? Yeah, I gotta put this out. Uh, you, candle, light. How's my sanity doing? A slight headache. Good, good. Uh... I don't have to pull these in any order, do I? Oh, what? I don't understand what I did differently then. Key! Yeah, uh oh. Oh! I don't know what's happening. I'm hiding in the closet, though. Surely nothing can get me in this closet. I'm completely safe. Right? Let me search these drawers. Note. I'm safe in the note, definitely. Ah, oh, more reading. Okay. So, Wilhelm and his fools have endangered my research long enough with their abs absent-minded handling of the human vessels. The sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. It is just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brennenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigation from the public. The wine cellar will therefore be sealed off until the matter has been handled. Either the king's men leave or they will starve. Whatever comes first, they can rot for all I care. Gotta love Alexander. That's classic Alexander behavior. Maybe I will feed them some wine. It would, it would in a sense, solve both my problems. Uh, I don't think it would. Let's then go on assumption there. Can, oh, I can light fires. Okay, so I do still have a slight headache. This door was thrown open. Oh, this was the locked door. Okay. It won't budge. Was that locked from the other side? Oh! Oh, I hate that! Is the monster roaming now? Do I have to watch out for this thing? I think that means yes. Is it? I'm so scared. Ooh. 
It is done, the men said. The tomb had been revealed. Tin Hannon awaits, grinned the toothless foreman. Oh. Oh, things are. Oh, God! Oh, that scared the piss out of me! What hurt me? Oh! Oh, that downed my sanity a lot! Okay, I think I'm fine to not crouch anymore. Oh my god, that gave me a heart attack. Okay, so laboratory wine cellar. Okay. So, because I have the key to the wine cellar, uh, I think this is a perfect moment to end this episode. I do really appreciate you guys if you've made it this far. Uh, I'm having a lot of fun so far. I think this game is pretty great. I love a lot of the dialogue. I like the lore going on so far. The atmosphere is beyond crazy. I am <laughs> shivering in my boots. If I had boots anyway, I'd be shivering in them. But anyway, if you like this episode, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. We do really appreciate any engagement. Leave a comment if you feel like it. Even if it's criticisms, calling me dumb, missing something. Any engagement is highly welcomed, and we appreciate talking to those of you who do comment below. And yeah, next episode is coming out Saturday, so I think every Saturday I'll be posting an episode of this, and then my usual random scary game on Wednesdays, plus whatever content the rest of the guys are doing. We are going to be trying to do a few more group games this month as well, because all of us love Spooktober, all of us love dumping out some horror games. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, again, if you did enjoy this, please subscribe. It means the world to us. And until next time, bye-bye. Uh,